At the beginning of March, I was in Madrid, where wonderful buildings, ambiance and football. The Prado Museum was absolutely amazing, particularly the work of Hieronymus Bosch. This is the external image of the closed triptych Garden of Earthly Delights. There is a sequential narrative to the whole, from the serenity of Eden on the left to the centre garden where humanity appears to be acting with apparent free will, unaware of the consequences, to the right hand side showing hell or what will be. In other words, the consequences of such irresponsibility. I knew I wanted to focus on global climate change and to present allegories of conditions which contrasted before and after states. I was really taken with the idea of a triptych, enclosing yet revealing. So I experimented with card models to get a feeling for scale and content. Fairly soon it became apparent that the two extremes would be better explored within two identical formats, both capable of revealing more when opened out. The choice of a basic 10 cm square was confirmed when noting that the Schweppes tonic water can was the same proportion as an oil drum. Who knew? I realised that I could only use materials that were to hand, so aluminium sheet offcuts were scored and bent to form each piece. The windows and hinges were all fabricated from various metal and plastic bits sourced from stock cupboards and assembled with araldite, annoyingly frustratingly sometimes. And here we are. Utopia, perhaps I should have a background of babbling brook and blackbirds. And oblivion, what we can expect with global desecration by the oil companies. Not a full exposure here, other companies are available. Ah. What, you may be thinking, are the cherubs all about? Well, for several years I've collected them from Spain, Italy, Sicily and Penzance. They surround me at home, though I've never used them in my work before. I love the way they figure in art and architecture, especially that of the ecclesiastical Baroque. They support and embellish so much with expressions of joy or pain as appropriate. Just before lockdown, I collected some cherubs that I'd had 3D printed from my latest Sicilian purchase. It was very time consuming to spruce up the sprues and to make them presentable. They are wonderful doorkeepers and I enjoyed working on the fine detail to accentuate the required contrast. 